much straddling the political spectrum here with two of our state representatives. We got Scott Plakin and Darren Soto. Gentlemen, great of you to come in here and after the debate, we can talk about it. Um, Darren, let's start with you. Uh, Mitt Romney is kind of like a fighter playing rope-a-dope. He was ahead on points. He knew he was, just didn't want to get knocked out tonight, and pretty much that's the way he went through the debate, don't you think? Well, I thought it was a great debate. I thought the president was very passionate and very clear in his policy, and Mitt Romney was his biggest cheerleader tonight, agreeing with the president in most items, uh, which was complete romnesia from his uh, positions in the primary where he was far more hawkish, calling for far more aggression in Iran and in Syria. And tonight, he kind of totally stepped back and said, I agree with President Obama. Well, Scott, is that an inherently a difficult position for Mitt Romney to be in? Because on foreign policy, is it hard for them to differentiate? Because in many areas, they do agree with each other. Well, I think what we saw in Mitt Romney tonight was a, was a leader. If you heard uh, what he said about his business experience and the Olympics mm -hmm. and then the state of Massachusetts, this guy has been successful in everything that he's done. And I wouldn't agree with uh, Darren uh, that there was that much agreement between the two. Uh, if you look at the uh, internationally where the world is right now, I don't know how that uh, the president or anybody else can say that we are in good shape internationally. For us to be strong and seen as strong internationally, we have to have a strong economy. And when the president tried to, I don't know how the president can defend the last four years, truthfully, of the way that the economy is done with. Certainly, though, you got to give it up to the president. He probably has the lines that everyone's going to be talking about to tomorrow. Governor Romney, the 1980s call, they want their foreign policy back. And probably the line of the night is the bayonets and horses. A great line or maybe a, a, a silly line that the Republicans can use against him? Well, the president was talking about capacity mm -hmm. and capabilities. If you have battleships and submarines, of course you don't need as many of the ships as you had back in the 60s and 50s because those are far more powerful mm -hmm. types of machinery. And I think overall, all, when you look at the president's record, bringing troops home from Iraq, and the, Romney agreed with a 2014 timetable for Afghanistan, and Romney agreed, and Syria, uh, Romney basically said, I agree with the president, I would just do it better, and I'm not going to tell you how. Game changer, does it make a difference in, in, in the grand scheme of things, this debate? Well, I definitely think the president came out on top because he showed a clear vision. He showed that he was smarter on public policy, uh, on foreign policy, and we saw Romney basically say, yeah, what he said, and I think that's mm -hmm. going to be something that is going to affect the polls going forward. Scott? It looked to me like the president was stumbling through this, and you could see it really in the demeanor between the two candidates. And we were over at Cafe Murano earlier tonight with a big group there, and the excitement in the room was, was palpable uh, at the way that we all believe that Romney did tonight. Okay, well, we'll see how everybody else spins it as well. Darren Soto and Scott Flakin, gentlemen, always a pleasure. Thanks.